So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and in this video, let's just take a look at a very commonly asked question. Why the hell is Node modules the heaviest object in the universe? I mean, how bad could it be, right? So let's just go ahead and create a new React project for ourselves and let's see how this all works out. I'm just going to create a very simple create React app and let's just take a look at what's the size of the Node modules. Now, while this is installing, you could see on the screen that it is not just installing React and its dependencies, but a hell lot of other dependencies too. We're going to get into that, what it is, why it is all required. And this is pretty much similar for any other project out there, whether you're working with Vue, whether you're working with Angular or even just vanilla TypeScript project, you need one sort of dependency or the other to make it work together. Here's our moment of truth. Let's just go into the folder and see if we have node modules with us. Yep, we do. Let's go into the node modules folder and see what's the size of the folder. And holy crap, it's 370 megabytes of JavaScript when we have not even touched our project at all. Now this might seem insane and a lot of people say that this behavior is insane, but there's a very good reason why this size is justifiable. But before getting into it, let's just go ahead and see how the web has evolved over the last 25 years. We have come a long way. We have come from simple static web pages to highly dynamic and beautiful web pages. This could have only happened by not only just improving the underlying technology for the web, but also the developer experience, which enabled them to write more complicated, more complex code in terms of getting the actual functionality which is needed. Plus, Technically speaking, web is not a single platform. That means you need access to more tooling in order to support all the variants across multiple browsers and operating systems. That means a lower developer experience if we do not have more developer tools. Therefore, we created some of the best tools we have for the web development. Meet, Babel and Webpack. These are two tools which allow you to do a lot of stuff which is technically not required for web browsers to run your website, but makes your life as a developer super easy and convenient. You could theoretically create a React project without Webpack, without Table, without any CSS loader, but you will have a very hard time as a developer. And that's mostly all there is to the weight of Node modules. That is the weight of developer tooling not the actual code which the client side sees. In fact, I would say that 99% of your code in node modules never see the sunshine on the client side's computer. Compare this with Xcode or Android Studio-like tools which ship with gigabytes of build tools and information within them. And fortunately or unfortunately, web does not work that way. You just cherry pick the tools which you want. Well, not exactly cherry pick, but you get the idea. So unless you are running super low on hard disk space or you really, really hate JavaScript ecosystem, there is no reason to worry about a huge node modules folder. Of course, make sure you install the packages from secure location and make sure you install only the packages which you need. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video till the end. If you are watching this, let me know what you think of the new sort of format of the video. Do you like it? Do you not? If you like it, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments what you think about node modules in general. That is all for this one. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon.